I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to find something that's counteractive. Oh, it's sand. Uh, sand. Yeah. So how hot do you have to be for sand to, to burn? Well, sand starts to melt. It depends on how many impurities you got. But it probably won't start to melt until it's above 3,000. Oh. And the metal solidifies before that mold ever gets that hot. Huh. And the question is then, what do you hold the sand together with? That's my, that was my next question. So I was like, <laughs> wait a second. Sand, sand is... Sand is loose. Yeah, I was like, how does that work? So there's uh, several different types. Uh, there's green sand, oil-bonded sand, and resin-bonded sand. Uh, resin-bonded is my favorite. It's also what I learned uh-huh. first. Uh, and as the name implies, you use a two-part epoxy, a resin, to glue all the sand grains together. But you only use a little bit. Okay. Like one and a half percent by weight. Um, and you mix it up and it like sets up in 30 minutes. So you mix it up and then you pack it on a form called a pattern Yeah. that you want. So if you wanted to like make a metal phone, you would make, you know, have a piece of wood that looked like your phone uh-huh. that you would pack the sand onto and then it would set up hard, flip it over, then you pop that piece of wood out. Now you have a cavity of the, the sh- shape of your phone uh-huh. that you pour the metal into. 